And you never thought about having kids? <laughs> oh, God. No. Do you guys know how much it costs to raise a kid in Singapore? <laughs> so Jess and I did the math. There's formula, lactation consultants, pediatricians, enrichment classes, tuition, childcare, repairs for when they smash the car, the list goes on. Bottom line, it's more than what we'd like to pay. But what about the love and fulfilment that you get in return? Oh, we have that. Regent, Weston, Conrad, Ritz and Carlton. Huh? Your dogs are? We prefer fur kids. Have you met Ritz and Carlton? Ritz loves his formula. It's the best S11 brand. It's got DHA, fish oils, lutein, protein, iron, calcium, and vitamins A, D3, E, B1, 2, 6, and 12. It's $97 a tin. Ah, but we only go through about three tins in a week. <gasps> Look at the time. I've got to go pick up Regent, Weston, and Conrad from school. Uh, school? Yeah, Woofles Institution, the best school for pets in Singapore. It was so hard to get in. We had to volunteer at the school to even stand any chance. We considered other pet schools like St. Pets and Cat High, but we only wanted the best. And we had to fight for it, man. It was a battle to the death, but we finally got them the places. So... What's the school fees like, huh? Just $2,000 a month. I guess that's reasonable for the three of them. Oh, for all three, is 6000 <laughs> Oh, so uh, you guys still living in Serangoon, right? Oh, we have to move. We bought a few properties within one kilometre of the school. Otherwise, <laughs> no chance. Uh. Hey, she's back! You move house, volunteer, pay about $6,000 for school fees and $1,000 for formula every month and employ two maids? Don't forget the nanny. Right, nanny! How could I have not known? So, all that and you don't want to have kids. Like I said, it's too expensive to raise a child in Singapore. Crazy expensive! Who could afford it? <laughs>